Hey, dude, we're going to break you up, man. Dude, you're getting broken up. Breaking news, Google. I, this, this article, uh, uh, this little bit of information slipped out Friday evening at the close, at the close of the stock market. Very, very, very interesting, right? Instead of shitting on Trump all the time, right? You know, he's getting us into wars and, and lying about Venezuela, lying about all kinds of shit, right? Trump lying about all kinds of shit. But today, today, Trump is actually redeemable. Right? So Trump declares war on Silicon Valley. Ah, see, now you're talking, right? Why are you bombing? Why are you leave Yemen alone and go after Silicon Valley, right? DOJ launches Google Anti-Monopoly Probe. Pow! Probe! Probe, right? A probe. He's gonna, they're going to stick a probe in there. Uh, so this is really good stuff. So let's, uh, let's, let's read what's going on. So... So Pocahontas uh, had started, if you remember, in the campaign, Pocahontas was saying, break up big tech, break up big tech. So Trump is, is jumping on a bandwagon. Looks like Trump's, Trump's jumping on a bandwagon, right? This is, this is really good, right? Because you, not only big tech, but go after big pharma, go after the big banks, go after big oil. This could be the start of something good. Oh, yeah. This could be the start of something good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that to you. <laughs> anyway, so Shield, the uh, Silicon Valley uh, relentless churn. I'll try to give you the news now. God damn it. I'm just going to try to give you the news. Huh? So once shielded by uh, uh, logic of Silicon Valley's relentless churn of innovation, which dictated no reigning tech empire could rule for long before going the way of Yahoo and AOL, giants like Facebook, Amazon, and Google have been subject to intensifying antitrust pressure, right? So you remember, that's, this is good. This is a good thing to do, right? Because they're too big. They're, 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 they're choking everybody, right? You can't compete anymore. If you do compete, you get so far, and then they either crush you or buy you out, right? So it's not uh, conducive to to uh, good business it's not good it's not conducive to the little guy since uh, trump's administration swept into power 2 years ago in spite of so here they talk a little bit about uh, silicon valley has always favored the democrats right in fact they stacked the deck against trump in favor of hillary clinton in 2016 and they're trying to make a um, argument that trump is only fighting back because because Silicon Valley was in favor of the Democrats and Clinton, and now Trump is Trump is hitting them, you know, hitting them back. That's really not what's going on. So on Friday, the levees broke. So listen to this. Just before midnight on Friday, at the close of what was a hectic month for markets, the Wall Street Journal dropped a bombshell of a story. The paper reported that the da- the DOJ, Department of Justice has opened an antitrust investigation of Alphabet Inc. as Google, which would uh, could, quote, present a major new level of regulatory scrutiny for the search giant, according to people familiar with the matter. Whenever you hear that, you know, according to people familiar with the matter, who, who? Uh, the report was sourced, again, quote, familiar with the matter, but was swiftly corroborated by New York Times, Bloomberg, and others. So it appears to be true. Right? There is a probe, probing Alphabet Inc., Google, right? antitrust. What does that mean, antitrust? It means that there are laws and there needs to be new laws to prevent companies from getting too big, too big to fail, right? right? That's what antitrust means, right? Uh, so for months, the FTC was leading the charge. And the new cre- a new commission has been formulated to, okay, let me, i just get to the meat of this because a lot of it is boring. So, so Google has been subjected to this uh, antitrust nonsense since 2013, but under the cozy Obama administration, nothing ever happened. These guys had run of the, uh, run of the farm, right? So, Though Dio, the Wall Street Journal didn't specify which, a, which aspects of Google's business might come under the microscope, a stirring multi-billion dollar, uh, billion euro fine recently levied by the EU might offer some guidance. I remember that, that um, 
law that suit. Google paid a little bit of money. They paid like a half a billion dollars. Right, they're worth eight hundred fifty billion. It's nothing. It's pocket change, right? It's like it's like to you or I. It's maybe you know twenty bucks, right? Uh, not, but that's it's got to change, right? So the blocks the antitrust authority, which the EU's blocks antitrust authority, which has been far more eager to take on American tech giants than its American counterparts for reasons that should be obvious, uh, has fined Google over its practice of bundling software, which is a standard Android license. All right, so they had this, they, they got caught doing something that was monopolistic, right? And got caught and got fined. Big deal. All right. here's, here's where we get, this is where it gets interesting. Our best model for tech antitrust is the Department of Justice's anti-bundling case against Microsoft in 1990s which argued that Microsoft was, was using its control over PC market to force out com, com, competing operating systems and browsers, right? They were making it so your machine didn't work unless you had Windows running in it, right? Microsoft, right? And that was the first of it, right? So if you're looking for a contemporary equivalent, Google is probably the closest fit. On a good day, Google is the most valuable company in the world, um, but how are you, how you going to do it? What, what are you going to do, Trump? What are you going to do? Trump, what are you going to do? How are you going to squeeze them? How are you going to do it? <clears throat> so if you're looking, according to one of these market guys, right, Google guys, if you're looking for a silver bullet, probably the best thing to do would be to block Google from being able to buy other companies. Ah, that's a great idea, right? Because, again, it's a monopoly. It's so big. Right, and you say if you want to build widgets, so you want to build some kind of technology, you want to sell something into the market, and um, it's a good idea. Instead of Google trying to make a a better idea, Google just waits until you they sit in the wings and then they make your life difficult, and then they buy your company outright. A lot of times, hostile, hostile takeover, right? Kind of like what what Trump's administration tried to do with Venezuela. Right, starve them out, and when they're on the balls of their ass, when they're down on their knees. And you chop their leg off, you just lean on them until they fall over. Uh, it's called a hostile takeover. And that's the nature of Google's model. They've acquisitioned about 200 companies like that. <laughs> right here. The company uh, has acquired more than 200 startups since it is, was founded, including central products like YouTube. Right here. Here we go. Right, Android and DoubleClick. Right? Google would still be in a... Uh, right? So... The Department of Justice Antitrust Division hasn't contested Google's acquisition so far, but it could. All right. So this is good news, right? Antitrust laws, right? All right. So you know, so that so that uh, the little guy can compete again, right? Look at the money these companies are worth. Go after Facebook, three hundred eighty-three billion. Amazon, seven hundred fifty-three billion. Google, six hundred thirty-five billion. Apple, Microsoft. It's huge. These are huge market capitalizations, right? And it could also, right, so it's going to rock the markets. Right? Let's look at the markets. Right? Market's already tanking. See this? Do you see that dip right there? See, it's, it's, it's try it once, try me twice, three times, three strikes, you're out, right? And now it's going to fall. Right? So the market is falling, and you can co compound. This is brand new, right? So the market hasn't even taxed this in yet. Right? We haven't seen this. It was down 354 at the close. We'll see what the futures are in a few, I guess, you know, Sunday night. Um, and you can expect the markets to keep coming down because this kind of news, you know, shakes the market. I love it. I think it's a great idea because the markets are a bubble anyway, right? So so Trump is doing something good right here, right? I don't know. If, well, let's see if he swings. He's swinging the bat. Right, or well, he's up at he's up at bat. Right, well, let's to see him swing the bat now. Right, swing the bat, Trump. This is good. Go after, go after big tech. Right, is it is it just another play? Is it just another school play? Because we have an election coming up. Right, he tried to frame Bernie Sanders as you know Venezuela socialist. Right, and that shit didn't work. It shit blew up in his face. Right, now uh, he's 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 taking a bite from. From uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas's uh, playbook to break up big tech. So, so the market is getting rocked right now. You got this Mexico nonsense going on, tariffs in Mexico, right? Big flex, tariffs in uh, China, 
right? And now you're going to, now, now, the DOJ, that's the breaking news, DOJ has, has opened a, uh, a antitrust probe into Google, right? Maybe we can, maybe this is the answer. Right? Maybe we can, I mean, Google's censoring the shit out of us right now. You can't, they, they're going after the First Amendment rights because there's no, con- they, they're not contested. They don't care what you say. <laughs> Freedom of speech. Who gives a shit? We are free speech. We tell you what you could say and who's going to look at your f- stupid videos. I, you don't, there's not, what, you want a real search engine? Who the fuck are you? You're not paying us. That's Google, right? That's the way it is, right? That's, a, that's the way it is when you're a millionaire. You, you, either, you either bow your head and do as you're told uh, or, uh, or you, you're out. Right, you're you're out on, on the balls of your ass, right? So, this is good. Antitrust laws, right? No, just, just enforce the law, right? We used to be a nation of laws, right? Amy Klobuchar, right? She had the greatest. She had the greatest one of all, right? She said, "This is this is uh, something that that could be done." I love this. I love this idea. The strongest fix would come from Congress, right? I'm reading back from that article. The strongest fix would come from Congress. Amy, Amy Klobuchar has introduced a bill that would place an outright ban on acquisitions by any company with a market cap higher than $100 billion, Right? Google is worth $840 billion, Right? That's, that's what you do, right? You choke them a little bit, right? And also, you, you hold them to a tax bracket, right? If they're going to pay, they, they used to be 20, uh, 34%. And they didn't pay it anyway, right? Amazon paid a z- paid zero in tax, right? Google zero in tax because of all the loopholes. Close the loopholes, create new antitrust laws, like like prevent them from acquiring companies. As long as they're over, they're all they all fall into the category of being over hundred billion dollars, right? Make that the cap. They're eight times the maximum. So prevent them from acquisitioning other companies, let those companies compete, let them be able to compete without Google coming in and aggressively taking them over. So this is good stuff, right? Antitrust, right? I trust. <laughs> uh, Marcus County re- reporting, kindly become a uh, Patreon. Become a Patreon, really. This is how you want this news to keep flowing. This is how you do it. This is independent news, right? I know everybody likes to eat for free. You come here, you drink my water. You eat my grapes, right? And, and and so drop a drop a drop a buck in the uh, Patreon, you know, two dollars a month. Come on. It's a tip jar, man. It's a tip jar. Do the right thing, right? Marcus County reporting. 